Hey guys, this is Mr. Yeager, and uh, I wanted to share with you this uh, quick slideshow about owls in Wisconsin. So we talked about owls, and um, I wanted to share with you what some of the most common owls of Wisconsin are, and as well as what some of the sounds, turn that up, sounds uh, what they might be like. Okay, so when the first owl, one of the most ones uh, in Wisconsin is the great horned owl. Great horned owl is kind of large, it's probably about two feet or so, you can see a couple in the pictures, and uh, it's a very effective hunter, it's got these cool feathers that gives it its name, uh, but they're just feathers, and you can see the young here, they look rather scary, looking for food, and here is what the great horned owl sounds like. Great horned owl. The deep muffled hoot of the great horned owl can be heard at any time of year, but is most commonly heard during the breeding season in December through January. Females are higher pitched than males, but it's often difficult to tell them apart. They will also clack their bills together to show aggression or displeasure. Young owls can make all sorts of strange noises, such as screams and screeches when begging for food from their parents. <coughs> So if you've heard of, a, of that sound, that's a great horned owl. The next one is a much smaller owl. A screech owl is also uh, common in Wisconsin. Um, it's a smaller uh, owl, probably you know in the 10 to 12 inch range, or maybe even a little bit less. Um, but it is one that is in most parts of the state, and it uh, sounds more like this. Eastern screech owl. This tiny owl sings a two-part song. The first is the eerie wavering whinny that rises and falls in pitch and is usually followed by a long, musical, one-pitch trill lasting several seconds. Both songs can be given separately or in conjunction with each other. Both males and females give these calls, with the female slightly higher in pitch than the male. Okay, that's the eastern screech owl. The hoot owl, or the barred owl, is another very common one, and I've heard this one around this area too, so you can uh, check this one out. It's got some interesting kind of feathers. You see over here, it's got a squirrel uh, that it's caught, something like that. I don't know how it's going to swallow that thing whole. It'd be one heck of an owl pellet, uh, but that's what it is. So here is the barred owl. Barred owl. The hoot of the barred owl is six to eight notes that sounds like the owl is saying, who, who, who cooks for you? Barred owls are also known to give a wide variety of non-owl-like calls and caterwauling, especially when two or more birds gather together. Often birds will call back and forth in the woods, as you will hear in this recording. You hear how it sounds, who, who, who cooks for you? So owls make a lot of different sounds other than just <clears throat> what we would consider hoots. All right, here's a great gray owl. I told uh, some of you guys about this one. Um, it's the largest owl. Okay, it's about, you know, 30 to 34, 36 inches or so, very big. All right, the big eye discs here act sort of like uh, sound collectors to help it pick up very faint sounds like might be uh, mice or something burrowing under the snow and things like that that, it, that it's uh, going to attack. So um, this is the call of the great gray owl. Great gray owl. Now it's me. Okay. That's it. Not uh, as quite as as impressive maybe as you would think for its large size. The short-eared owl is another one that is sometimes found in Wisconsin. This one looks more like a hawk. The face is what really gives it away, but if you just saw the body, it might look like um, it might look like uh, a hawk or something like that. Short-eared owl. Okay. 
That's the short-eared owl. It sounds sort of like a monkey. It always reminds me of. The long-eared owl is another one. Okay, this one does not quite so uh, hawk-like, but uh, you know, different versions got those long ear tufts. Right, this one looks like it's all puffed up for some reason or another. Here's the long-eared owl. Okay, long-eared owl. The barn owl, this is the one where most of our pellets came from, uh, is uh, this, this owl right here, the Tito alba, all right? It's got that heart-shaped face, right? It's got um, very white, very uh, faced, very dark eyes. Um, and so this one sounds like this. Barn owl. Another sound. Yeah, so barn owls got some very interesting calls as well. All right, the northern sawwet owl. This is one of the smaller owls. You can see here from its size and its huge eyes. There it must have been a picture taken in the dark, dark to be open that wide. But here's a branch of like a, a spruce tree or something, and you can see it's pretty tiny. It's only a few inches. Uh, few inches tall. So this one's got a very high-pitched, sort of quiet-sounding call, too. Sawwet owl. I'm going to pause it a second. Okay. There we go. All right, so that's the northern sawwet owl. Snowy owl, this is the re this one is not in Wisconsin very uh, often. It's very uncommon, but I put it in here just because if you've seen any Harry, Harry Potter movies or read any of the books, that uh, Harry's owl Hedwig was a snowy owl. Okay, and uh, it is, like it says, you know, it's white and it, it often lives in colder climates uh, maybe than we have here. It's more in Canada and areas to the north. So this is the snowy owl. Hey, wait a second. There we go. Snowy owl. Okay, so that's a snowy owl. And the last one is the owl from the book or the movie Hoot. Um, that the central kind of conflict of that book was um, about building a restaurant where these uh, owls were burrowing. They are burrowing owls, okay? Um, so that is this one. They do live in tunnels in the ground. And um, yeah, so anyway, this is the last one. This is the burrowing owl. Burrowing owl. Whoops. Okay, thanks for watching. See ya.